Greetings and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics that relate to the appeal of Robert Sylvester Kelly. You are now listening to the We Can Fly in July series. So we're going beyond what others are negatively saying that impacts this case. So the appeal is here. And while we're waiting on the appeal for Attorney Bonjean to file her appeals paperwork, we are going to be talking to some of our uh, subscribers here on the channel. And we have our wonderful friend, Mr. Tim. He is going to talk about what he feels about the, the uh, sentencing hearing and give us a little bit about um, what we need to know, just to be in the know with him. Hey, Tim, how are you tonight? I'm well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I want to thank you very much, too, oh, uh, you're for bringing welcome. me on, by the way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So tell us a little bit about your emotional feelings of, you know, when you got the m news and whatever you want us to know. No, it, it was on your 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 channel, of course. I, I heard it, and I'm like, well, how can you do that when the judge wasn't even being uh, fair, or she wasn't even being she wasn't even being she she, she was being one sided, just like the last time she was one sided. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 uh, the, the, the the trial itself, in my opinion, was surviving R. Kelly uh, in court. Mm, yeah yeah there was something you said that was real in, um, empowering and impactful um, tonight or yesterday on the um, on the channel you said something about four states could you reframe what or could you say what you said in the chat because I couldn't follow oh, it. Oh, yeah, because I said, I said, yeah, because I said, uh, never have we witnessed four states come up against one person. That that, that actually, and, 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 and I said that, that that hurts me as a as a blind person to even, to even, you know what I'm saying, know that or, mm -hmm. or hear about stuff. Because as you put, like, your own disability, like, on, and you start thinking about you, as a person can see, like you can only imagine what if you become famous as a blind dude or a blind lady or anything like that. What will these fools try to do to you as far as go? And it's just, it, it's, it, it just hurts. I, I have to tell you. Right, right. And not only even as a, a get, getting famous as a, a human being in today's society, it's just walk into the grocery store and somebody can can lie on you about anything anything at all and that's just you know that's what i felt when i got the sentencing um when she overreached beyond what prosecution had even asked for five more years that was a slap in his face saying you gave 30 now you're gonna give 30 more so basically, he gave us 30 years of tyrant, or actually more than 30, but for, for the sake of, of, you know, from, you know, when he dropped his album up, up until this, this stupid series and these court allegations, up, up, all the way up until that point. So it was like he gave us 30 years of his time and his love and his passion and his tyrant. Now he has to give us give them 30 years of just sitting in jail doing absolutely nothing like that's just yeah somebody Ooh. had even somebody had even made the statement like they're trying to drive him crazy um they're trying to make him mentally ill because they know they know what that's doing to him psychologically they know yeah mm, mm, mm. so yeah. I, mm -hmm. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I'm just saying, I just think it's crazy. I, just, I, I think it's crazy that they can go this far at doing this. To, because they didn't do this to Harvey Weinstein when he got his. When he got his, they gave it, they, 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 they were spent. And I'm not making it a race thing, but literally that's what it's been about the entire time. It's been about race. 
we see Michael Evanati, who was a you know attorney for some of these these women, and, and he was convicted of extortion, but yet he he only got like what two years, right? So, right. How, so like like how he get to get two years, and, but him got to get third. That ain't right. Mm-mm. No, not at all. Wow. So as as a African American man in society with disability, how would you yep. how do you think that R. Kelly is feeling now that he knows that the sentencing is over, the thirty years have been given, even though he knows he can appeal, do you feel that his confidence level has decreased a little bit? I think it's low. Uh, I think it's low. The only reason I, I think that it's low is because if, I mean, he he told us, and I admit that he got problems with reading and writing. Uh, his book, he talked about his literacy skills and how they're not you know, really good. Um, he talked about all these different things that happened to him in his own life. And the fact that Judge Ann Donnelly, I, I I don't know why she didn't take into account that he has a truth too that wasn't told um, in trial. I thought that when you go to trial, I I thought that when you go to trial, I, I thought that it was you, you know, the prosecution say their stuff and then the defense continue, you know, you know, and, and then they say there. Tell me why every time I I listen to a uh uh. uh transcript I listened to a transcript that somebody reads to me and when they read it to me I kept hearing her call out sidebar 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 every time the defense want to say something she, she want to yell out sidebar but you didn't say a damn thing when them damn prosecution guys you no you're right? good you're you, good you know they didn't say nothing when she didn't say anything about no side nothing when they was up there running their mouth about everything Mm -hmm. And see, I believe that what they really wanted is because they couldn't get him in 2008. I feel that this is a new um, opportunity for them to reproduce what they couldn't produce back in 2008. And not only that, I think all they wanted was a conviction just so the world itself would know that this man is being called a quote, um, you know, um, criminal, pedophile, like his name was too good to be the king of R&B. So like Steve Greenberg said tonight or yesterday, um, cause it, it, tomorrow will be tonight, but you know what I'm saying? We're recording tonight, yeah. the same night of the live, but, um, right. yesterday's, um, video, um, Greenberg said that he is not a pedophile. Even his evaluations that came back does not even incorporate pedophilia in the way he thinks. You know what's funny? It, it's, it, it's funny that you say that because I was, I went back, I, I went, <clears throat> excuse me, I went back to listen to I Admit today, right? Mm -hmm. And I just went back and listened to it with a fresh mind. I didn't listen to it as, oh, you know, I love Kells and this is my joint. No, like I went and listened to it to see what did I miss last time. And when I heard him say, I, I admit I get with all the ladies that's both older and young ladies. Young ladies, ladies yeah. They, right. Yeah. But then he said, but then he said, well, tell me how they call that pedophile because of that. That's crazy. Because he was able to be, play the playboy and do his thing however he wanted to do it. And there was nothing that nobody could say. He wasn't worried about what the naysayers were saying out in the street. He just did him, you know, but like uh, Greenberg said, he could make love or have sex with a person that's 17 or 89. It doesn't matter. He just likes sex. Right. You know what I'm saying? And there is no law that says that it's illegal to like sex. That's like somebody prosecuting <laughs> you because you eat too much ice cream, right? Like, yeah, well, honey, I'd be locked. 
fucked up. <laughs> You'll be mad. Yeah. All the, look, what y'all say? <laughs> <laughs> all the strawberry ice cream I love. Okay, oh. butter pecan, by the way. You know? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> but I mean, it's just so weird. It, it is. It's very weird. And I'm just so grateful that. Like I said, God has given him a, a third chance, I think. Cause the, well, I figure second chance. Because 2008 was the first chance that, you know, they yeah. tried to de destroy him. Not saying that he was even guilty then, not at all. I'm saying that, or saying that he's guilty now. I'm saying that he's judged incorrectly. You know, he's judged. He was unfairly. judged incorrectly even in 2008, in my opinion. Because think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, think, think, think about how this whole thing comes. You got, all right, so let's go back to the, to the year 2000, right? You get TP2.com, the dopest album I've ever heard. And that was my, that was my injury to him. Like, I, I, that's how I, that's how I got who he was with that album, right? Mm -hmm. So, but then when you look at 2001, see, that, that, See, they, everybody want to talk about the tape that got him indicted. But actually, there was a tape before that that came. And the, the, F, the FBI came along and they did investigate it. And they couldn't find enough. So then somebody decided to go and, and recreate a second tape. And in the second tape, according to what I heard, because, you know, you know, you know I can't see any video. Mm -hmm. So from what I heard, the, from what I heard, people... Looked, uh, um, when I looked it up, they said that the second tape included clips from the first tape. So actually, mm. it wasn't a new tape. It was just old ass clips from 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 the old from the first tape that did not get him indicted. And then there was some new footage from the new tape that got him indicted. Wow. So this is where it all came down to saying that with the way that media can do. And, you know, switch up with green screens and different in different ways that you can play out a video. Um, right. It could have been overlays. It could have been anything. It could have been filters. It could have been anything. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why they said that they could not tell if he was the actual person in the video or if that girl was Rashonda was the actual girl in the video. And right. they should have left that alone. But just because they created that thought in the minds of individuals, it played out decades later. Right. It literally and, played and out just because crazy. he was charged, you know, not convicted, but charged. And this is what they were doing again with this hearing or with this uh, federal trial. They just wanted it out there so people could believe it. Then the docu series came out. Oh, all fifty women can't be telling the the, the uh, all of them can't be lying, supposedly. No, all of them can lie. But no, they, no, no, all of them can lie if, yeah. because if your story sounds just like I wanted to be a singer, and somebody else just said that, and then you come and say that too. Oh yeah, you you was you was paid to say that shit. I'm gonna tell you straight up, they was paid for that shit. I'm, right. I'm just gonna be honest. Right. And that that brings us to the whole concept of, well, if you want to be a singer and you got this op opportunity, now you became an author instead of a singer, you became an author. So why didn't you go back right. to singing? I know he did not devastatingly d destroy your life with all the shopping sprees and the late night, oh you know. God. I'm sorry for laughing, but this the late night <laughs> creeps. No more shopping sprees. <laughs> no more late night creeps. <laughs> Come on, man. These people is ridiculous, yo. Like yeah. these, yo. Like and then too, like like I mean, like you, like even uh, what's his name, Jim Jim Derogatis. He 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 was so uh uh, uh kept his tail hole that his wife left his ass. See, man. good. Good. He know his karma, Jim Dare Goddess's karma will come back to him. It will haunt him just like Michael Avenatti. His karma hit him right in the midst of being the devil lying on people. You know what I mean? Not saying that R. Kelly, uh, Robert Sylvester Kelly is 100% innocent. I'm not saying that or 100% guilty. I'm saying that the constitutional 
rights were aired against based upon the dislike of this man because people thought that he was more powerful than they were. So and this... then too, if you, mm -hmm. so so, and then too, when you when you put that into effect, and then look at how, like, so so, like if you look at sequence or the or the way chronologically this stuff comes, so like, remember, remember I was telling you about the, the tape or whatever, and then. Not not only does he get indicted, but then the Best of Both Worlds album come out one day later after the indictment. Jay Z had a lot to do with that album. Shining so, brightly, it, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shining like a bright star, just making the money that R. Kelly could have been making with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't know. That's a little. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Like, what are what do you feel about Jay Z? Do you feel that he had like beef with Kelly? Do you think? I think that is oh, okay. So, so since we're talking Jay, well then let's talk about this. Guilty as to proven innocent, uh, good song. I feel like Jay Z. However, he he, he all right. So. His portion of the song was mainly talking about him stabbing another producer, right? Mm. That that was mainly what it was about. He was saying I didn't stab him, but then on the on his album Four Forty Four, he has a, a joint on there called Kill J Z, and in the song he said you stabbed on over some records. So basically, you're admitting that your staff is doing uh, 16 years later. Mm. So a lot of this um, rap music and hip hop music, and this is what they were trying to say about the um, R, about R. Kelly's music that there is subliminal messaging. Right, but I don't see no messaging in his music. Other than just song. having having fun. And kicking right. it. There's a song right. that somebody sent me um, called Bum Bum Bada, but Bum Boom Bada. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I see that. I oh, see okay, that. yeah, yeah. Well, no, this this was somebody on um that that makes music for Kells on his Kells for something. We love Kells YouTube or something. He said right, right. Bumbaya, Bumbaya or something. Boom, 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 yeah, by yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it boom, and by, yeah. and it was just yeah, that's the that's the yep, that was it. Yeah, and I was and like, got, wow, yeah. that's cool, you know. But mm -mm -mm. people he, just can't he, take other people. You know, Go ahead. No, I'm just saying, like you know, it's just crazy how they can say, oh, well, you you listen to. I admit, he actually don't admit to nothing. Actually, he admitted to what he admitted to. And if you really listen to the lyrics, you'll hear exactly what he's admitting to. See, what, what I believe those people, they, quote, they, the people who were <laughs> expecting to hear things in the I admit, they were, they, quote, they, the naysayers, the people who didn't believe, was so busy, stuck on what, the courts was saying about him, what the legal system was saying about him, what the women yeah, were saying too. about him. And right, so they right. were just waiting to hear him just say, I did it, but he didn't. And that's what pissed him off because if it don't come out of the horse's mouth, you may not have as much truth in what you think you know. And then yeah. even with him pleading the fifth, that really pissed Donnelly off. And that's what Steve was telling somebody. I was watching another video. Steve was saying, yeah, if he had to humble himself down and said, yeah, I did it, Massa. I did it. Then she would have gave him a little pat on the back. You a good slave. You a good slave. So now I'm going to take off five years. That's what somebody had said, and it it really hit home to me. And then it was so yeah. ironic that they picked the perfect timing, June 29th, right the week of 
the week of well, Independence July. Day. Come on now. Yep. Subliminal yep. messaging. Yep. The system has been playing subliminal messages all our lives. Mm -hmm. And so. it's crazy because, like people say all the time, well, I've been trying to tell y'all who he was for years. Mm -hmm. Well, you, well, you tried to tell me because I never heard him say I did X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And that's why he said, uh, silence speaks so much louder. Like, what's what's the quote he say? He says, sometimes silence can feel so loud. And it's true because this is why they shut him down. It's like they knew, he knew they were going to do this. You know what I mean? It's like he, right. he knew that they were going to shut him down. And, and my thing is, though, I mean, people like, Somebody uh, uh, did a reaction to uh, one of his, was it, I, I, think, I think it was that one. And somebody had did a reaction to it on YouTube, and they were talking about, they, they they were so focused on the part where he said, I'm not convicted, I'm not arrested, but you dragged my name in the dirt. They called the song and said, actually, you are convicted. Oh, you yeah. Are so it is what it is. Right. It. Yeah. And just like when we created the um, podcast monthly, We Can Fly in July series. Well, I went out there and I looked and there, there was a suggested, um, well, we, we think we can fly from prison. But you know what? what? Yeah, that's that's what. But they didn't put it on my post. They put it on oh, a video. Say, cause, yeah, cause, they made a video. That, not... that was blatant attack. Yeah, I mean that's just them mm -hmm. being or sarcastic. But little do they know that when we play around with this system, everybody and injustice in any area, and it's not just because he's a a millionaire. If he was just a regular everyday Joe Blow on the street, do you see how innocence can go into a state where somebody can overreach boundaries in the legal system just to keep them there to keep a paycheck? Man, Ann Donnelly went so hard. And then she had the nerve to say something about the public can't accept dudes' behavior. But, uh, ma'am, uh, Donnelly, did you know that there are other people? Who are still in the public right now committing crimes like Lisa Van Allen? Mm, what is she doing? What did she do? She stole a watch from this dude. She took money from this dude. Oh, yeah. And then she, yeah. And then she was a thief the whole time. So mm -hmm. you can tell me you can't. She can get away with it. Huh? She can get away with that. Right. Mm. So she don't have so 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 she can get. You know, she she would be fine with knowing that she blackmailed this dude even back in the nineties. Right. So, what do you think about um, uh, the parents getting away with all of this? Because you know that they signed over their kids to R. Kelly, the superstar. Oh, you talking about who? Who? Mm, oh, let's like just savage. we can use yeah, we can use them. We can use the savages. Um, well. I don't know because Joycelyn, they were asking the question in the chat tonight. Do I think that Joycelyn will be included in, you know, the other sentence or the other um, hearings? In Chicago? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I but don't she's still see, with them. I don't see why she would be. I mean, mm hmm. But my thing is, the reason why I said Tim Savage is because, look, like I said, you know, my name is, is Timothy, and his, and his name is Timothy as well, but our names mean to honor God, and, and our, our names also mean beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's that's why when you've been talking to me all this week, you 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 you, you, you would get a beautiful side of me because. That's what my name means. Absolutely. And you left me feeling so empowered and so inspired, you know, because of all the challenges that you face and you still choose to be righteous, 
still choose to put a smile on someone's face, still choose to believe in hope. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that is, that's what made me think of you when I say your name. That's why I have to say your name fully in order to get, <laughs> in order to get the response out of my psyche that I need in order to give you the honor that you deserve. Oh, you know? man, yeah. Just, you know, I, you know, I, you know, you know, I, you know, I, I appreciate you too for, for, for doing what you do. You bring a lot of uh, great content to the forefront that I don't think any of these other bloggers can match. Uh, these people are cowards over here. They are talking nonsense. And the only other person that brings great content like me is Black CEO. And yeah. I mean, shout out. To Oh, awesome. I agree, Black CEO. I've taken some of his quotes, um, especially on the emotional level. I think for him as a, as a Black man, going through the same struggles that every other Black man is going through, but then holding a platform the way that he does, yeah, I give mad honor to him as well. Um, yeah. And, and yes, also cool. April Showers. You know, I don't know a lot of cool. people. April Showers. You got to go Never and heard. look her up. I mean, she's she's a she's a um I'm subscribed to her channel and I'll send you the link for her. But uh yeah, April get down. I mean, she's spiritual. She's about faith. Yeah. She knows Rob, you know her family knew Rob and yeah. um knows her mom was was like really close to him before she passed away. And gotcha. um so yeah, you know, and it's like that's some power right there. Yeah. And I'm just... And, 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 mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm going to tell you this, you know, even, and I hate to keep bringing this, but even even blind folks can tell that the scales of justice were took. Exactly. And let's talk about that. That's so, so valuable. So in criminal justice, you know, I have a couple degrees in criminal justice. One of the things that they teach us is that justice is blind. Well, if you are blind and you can see the injustice in the system, the justice is not the justice is not blind. Because what does it mean to be blind? You have to feel your way through the truth. You got to weed it out. It's like you have to sort things through and be honorable and just because you see you have to feel it from a pers perspective not just see it or hear what somebody else is throwing in your ear right you feel me yeah yeah because you know it, it, it's, 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 it's it's funny that you bring that because it's like yeah like you said you know if Excuse me. If justice is blind, and if you got blind people in this world and on this earth and on this planet and in America and all that, then technically it ain't blind if actual blind people know that y'all are bullshit. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Justice can see very well. She been faking it, hiding behind yeah. that. Blindfold. She know what she got. She know what she doing. She tripping, yo. And, 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 and yeah, man. Like she don't. She ain't got no love. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and, you know but it. But what's crazy is though. What'll happen is, you know how? Like I was talking about Tim. You know, Savage. Mm -hmm. The the reason why I brought up what my you know that name means, because he used that name to be literally vindictive, showing up to Joyce and with cameras and I mean every time you 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 see them, you know, especially those who got sight, uh those who have, you know, sight, those who were able to see them, y'all see them with the camera. You mm -hmm. see them run up in there and run up in houses, come on us and yeah, where's my daughter? I, I, I do this and I do that and, and all these media, the media, all these microphones, man. Yeah. Like they going to find a cheater. You know, the cheaters series where they go and they got yeah. all the cameras and all the backup and 
and yeah. and, and, and speaking That's of Tim name, Savage all day. <laughs> right. But now speaking of the name, now you say Tim, Timothy represents beauty, but Savage represents animalistic behavior. A beast. Yeah. And that's why I feel that Joycelyn is being kind of like the beast in a positive way, but Tim is being a beast in a negative way. Just to take this man down. And I'm not judging anyone. And I'm sorry, I'm not talking about, because I don't believe in gossip. I really, really don't. I believe in the characteristic of an individual and the truth behind that character. And the character right. which I saw betrayed, because this is an opinion, opinion-based um, conversation, I feel that it was very animalistic towards Robert Sylvester Kelly to take him down. Now, I don't know if he got paid for it or not. I don't know. I don't get his bank accounts. I don't, I'm not his <laughs> auditor. I'm not his auditor or his accountant. But what I do know is that he overstepped the boundaries of having a young adult my daughter is 23 years old going on 24 and let me tell you she go she's on her way overseas and i'm gonna check on her i love her but i'm gonna let her live her life you know what i'm saying because just because yeah. she's young does not mean i have a authority or a right to control her none at all yeah. Yeah. just like just like i like you know and and, and and I thank God for my dad and, 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 and his mom and all that too and, and you know I'm I'm gonna be like uh this month even so mm -hmm. on Thursday. Yes. You know, and, but like they don't they don't control me, they don't do any of that. I mean, I just live my life with them and I just do different things, you know, I don't you know, they don't have no leash on me or none of that. And see, it seems to me like if anybody would have control issues as a parent, it would be your parents because of the fact that you need the things that you need. I mean, you, I need you see what I'm yeah, saying? I mean, but they right, still, right, right, I, I, but even them, they still allow you the opportunity to be a young man right. and run your own life. And that's a blessing. That's right. a blessing. Yeah, and, you know, it, 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 it can be a little challenging, too, because, you know, you know, that can be challenging sometimes when you, when you, when you don't have uh, yeah. sight. You look at, look out one you don't, you don't, you don't have the ability to say, oh, snap, it's raining out this joint. Like, I, like I, I would have to, like, go outside and and open up the door and feel the fact that it's raining to know it's raining, right? Right. And see, that brings me to the point of Robert Sylvester Kelly and comparing. Because, like, you know how you sent me the music you wanted me to compare and contrast the differences between the subliminal messages, the way you see or the way you understand the, the turf of conversation between, you know, hip-hop and R&B. And we talked about yeah, that. We're going to hit that back again. But real quick, I wanted to say Robert has a disability, too. And it's a learning disability. And I think yeah. a learning disability is just as strong as a visually impaired or a blind disability. Exactly, because you're still lacking something even like, you know, you know, people who say all the time, well, if he got learning disability, then how are you able to write all this stuff? You don't have to. Uh, right with a pencil and pen to make brilliant music. That's what made it brilliant. <laughs> right, and that's what I learned about you. Like you have these um, tools that you use that can convert your conversation over into text, or that you can text over into conversation. And that's why I was like, yeah, so Robert was using those type of tools in order to help with his dyslexia, help with his, you know, way that he saw the world, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's so sad that people would take advantage of the, the disabled like that. It's yes. like you were well, saying, 
a wor- we you are disabled in a world that expects you to be a normal individual and that does not work it doesn't work and to be honest and, and it's, it's funny that you said that, that you brought it up that way because everybody says well well all all black people uh is independent no not all of them because you got some that that lost a sight and they may be independent. The reason why they may be independent is because sometimes they they go off what they what they remember. If you go, if you ask a person that's blind from birth anything about independence, they'll be like, "What the heck are you talking about?" What like, is even independence? Like, imagine right. being blind from birth, not knowing. Like we shared in our conversation, and I enjoyed every single second. Seeing yellow, I mean, we even take for granted the color yellow. Like when I was trying to explain to you the sun, and you were like, well, "Well, what's that?" And then I'm like, "Okay, if you look up at the sun, you might see a ray of something brighter in your eyes from the darkness." But if then, you, but then I'm like, "Yo, well, then what is that?" Yeah, what is that? And that was so amazing for me to try to explain vision and thought and feeling that was really difficult it was difficult but it was exciting at the same time and that's why i say i will never again take a disabled person um for granted because they are they should never be expected to live normal or, or expected to live in a normal way, the way everybody else does with every five senses. Right. It's like unfair. It's just like the judicial system in this case. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, unfair. It, it's literally that. They want him to say, and that's the thing that you were saying yesterday, like that whole, like how, how you want him to say something, or how, how you want him to feel remorseful, and he, 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 he didn't do all that now. Yeah. And of course, that's going to look egoic because that's how, that's his nature. That's just the swag of Chicago. I'm going to tell you like <laughs> this. That's just the Chicago swag. I mean, that's just like the step, right. the Chicago step. Y'all got that. You, you, there's, there's, there's this energy that comes in with it. So whole, even holding his head up high in the courtroom was looked at as a, oh, now I'm going to put a mark on that one. He's holding his head up high. He just cleared his throat when somebody he just cleared let he just cleared his throat when somebody said you should uh feel sorry right now. Oh, he wore glasses in the courtroom. He's trying to get to see people a lot clearer than what he could see. See what I'm saying? Just like stupid things that added to a man's life that made hey, absolutely no sense. Smallest, dumbest, yeah, like it don't make no sense. It's it's like they is 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 like well, well let me find something like, let's find something just one thing to make this right. man to bring this man down and it's wow and now, I just and, mm, go and, ahead and and, 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 and and did you know that they didn't they they didn't bring a shred of evidence to the trial that was the prosecution they, they they didn't bring no not a thing no they didn't have to they had all the lies in the docuseries to support what they were going to do but i guarantee you if a new trial is granted i guarantee you they will never be able to recamp no matter how many times they watch that stuff they can etch it in their heads all day they will not remember their script well, they can't watch it now because because uh, it's gone. They ain't got it no more. Yeah, it's gone. It's <laughs> over. But I tell you what, ain't over. Trapped in the closet. I was just watching, uh, um, the cousin. Oh, what? Uh, what's the cousin's name? Oh man. <laughs> Who? What cousin? The cousin. The the one that went to prison for three years. Oh, Twan. Twan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. So I'm ready to go back. He said, No, you just got out of prison and you on paper. You can't do. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah. Oh 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 oh. It's funny. It's funny. Oh my God. I'm, I'm so glad you brought that up. Uh -huh. Look, do you know that that particular series, right? When I when I hear it, I don't I don't look at it from a perspective, or I don't hear it from a perspective of this is him and I like this. As you listen to like him narrate stuff, especially in chapter, I forgot what chapter was, but he was like. Uh, a cop pulls up to a restaurant, the door opens, and someone gets out. Like, yeah. he's doing that, and it's like, literally, he's describing, I mean, and I'm not trying to bring, like, blindness into it, but if you listen to it in the audio and forget about the video, you're actually listening to it almost as a blind person. Yes, and that's one of the reasons, like, I was telling you, like you were saying to me, you like how I read the um, the chat. But I might have yeah. to end up closing the whole chat box down because, uh, or having only members, members of who subscribe to the channel, be part right. of the the channel. I think I can do that. Um, I'm gonna What's talk, that? like put only members who have subscriptions to the channel, so they won't, so regular people won't be able to come in the chat and disturb it. Because I like to what? read. I like to read my chat, you know, what's right. going on in the chat box for people like yourself who is blind and can't read for themselves. So when you hear me speak it, then you know exactly that what's going on in the chat. You're not missing anything because information yeah. is vital. And yep. if you miss a few things, it's, it's just going to mess it all up in, in your mind. So... But I can't believe that somebody came to your channel and started doing extra. Yeah, I think because other people are just randomly coming in. Now, when it was our regular uh, channel members who are faithful, like you, like Ray, like Maria, you know, like yeah. um, um, Sophia and Dorothy and uh, Galatians. And, you, you know, everybody was so into getting the information and giving hope and different things like that. Now that it's over, it's like people want to come on and they want to speak their say, but it don't fit because of how we talk on the channel. And so instead yeah. of doing that, they'll just spam. And I'm like, OK, so, you know, but my moderator, she's really good on it. So she's checking it every time and she deletes it real quick. But it just don't. Mm -hmm. It, it doesn't need that. It doesn't need to be that, you know, important when we're trying to stay focused on just what's going to happen next. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said something that I wanted to bring up. You said it doesn't need that. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to add by saying the truth. Now, I'm about to bring that music uh, uh words in it because you know because i do music or i've done music before um but the truth doesn't need add units it doesn't need double recording the, the, the truth doesn't need extra instruments yes so then that's the devil then that's the lie that's the negativity that's trying to distract exactly, it, 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 exactly. And, and then when you look at all the media attention that this case has been given. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like, if you look at CNN, it's media mics around. You look at ABC, media mics around. You mm -hmm. look at uh, uh, Fox, media mics is around. And then, and then when you look at all these people who came out, media mics are around that. Uh, Michael Avenatti. Why would you take if, if, if I had a tape and, it, and if the tape was supposed to be allegedly child porn, why would I take the tape to see a TV uh, station? Exactly. And not only that, um, Michael Avenatti said there was a second video that they supposedly showed in the court, in the trial, but they didn't show the video. They only showed the audio. Well, in the audio, anybody can overlay any sound. He could have been having sex with a grown woman, 45 years old, and, you know, 
she could have been sounding like a little girl, a young, like, you know, sound young, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Right. Okay. Right. And that's just like, um, the whole concept of, you know, you were talking about the, um, the Michael Avenatti situation. It's like, mm -mm. it's just all wrong. It's just all wrong with that video. Right. That video was but wrong. He, and that's why they couldn't. Whole, but, uh, but there's no way you can do nothing. Uh, extortion. I might have not tried his best to, to deny the extortion that he did towards uh, I talking about him. You know, you know, well, it's not extortion if I told him that I would give him a million dollars for his, for his whatever brand it was, Nike, like Nike, Nike. And, and then he decided to go on a doctor. Mm. And he, Look, this dude literally said ninety percent of this is BS, whether it's R. Kelly or, or Donald Trump. Yeah, and you know there's Donald Trump and the issues too with the conference, the January sixth conference and yeah, how he yeah, had yeah. people about ready to shoot up the whole nation and they weren't yeah. gonna bother him. <laughs> I'm no, like, wow, man. these people, and I'm telling you, what's happening is the universe is aligning with the different planets to bring down the powers that be because the powers that be are not being, they're, they're corrupt. And when you have a corrupt system at the top, then of course, people below is going to think that they can get away with it too, but it's going to hit harder. See what they talking and how they acting with R. Kelly is really how they need to be acting when they when when their kids get uh, stopped by the police be, and they don't know how to respect. And then now you you you're going to be spending years and years and years for something just on the premise, just on the premise of belief. Right. You know what I'm and saying? Yeah, like, and, and they, I mean, when I mean they circumvented this, this, they circumvented you to the point where, like, I heard you say that the, the appeal is going to take place. Oh, yeah, it's, it's going down, honey. Within the next 30 days, Bonjean is going to definitely, definitely go it. ahead and file that yeah. appeal. Yeah. And the lawsuit is already on the books right now. Oh, I mean, oh, lawsuit. yeah, lawsuit. Daddy Lolo, yeah, Daddy Lolo. Um, if you look at my, um, well, if you read the community site where um, Daddy Lolo has said that the they John Jennifer Bonjean was um, filing a lawsuit against MDC for um, for holding him in isolation during a time when he first came to MDC just because he was a superstar, they treated him inhumanely by keeping him well, in the hole. You know what I mean? Well, they, yeah, but they did that even when he went initially in 2019. So you might as well file Oh, that yeah, that's that's, that's the one. That's that's the one she filing. Yeah. That's oh, the one. So that's the MCC. That's the, so that's yeah, the, the MCC. MCC. Not the M, yeah, MCC. Yeah. They had him in that joint for about, what, three or four weeks, eh? Mm-hmm. That's when the sisters was talking, you know, and people didn't want to, you know, and I think that a lot of these people who got so offended at me for putting the sisters on the channel is because they didn't oh, want they them. Got to mad at you. They got mad at you. Well, yeah, because they said a lot of the people who were on the, um, the appeal TV at that time was basically saying that these women are not his sisters. I understand, they may be stepsisters, I don't care, but what they was talking was the truth. It made sense to me. They were saying right. that their brother had gotten railroaded, and who am I? I'm not a DNA expert to sit here and tell yeah. you that these sisters are not his sisters. That wasn't even the point, but that's what happened with distraction get in the way. Instead of just, you know, focusing and keeping an open mind and expanding your horizon, people would rather fight over, well, that ain't his sister. That ain't even his sister. His brother Carrie yeah, said. Yeah, like, okay, well, we get that. But this ain't that type of conversation. We're saying that the sisters, call them blood sisters, spiritual sisters, play sisters, whatever you want to call them, they making sense with what they're saying. You're losing the whole energy of the, the definition of what they're saying. 
it is sad. It is what it yeah. is. And a lot of our people, our black people, Miss April had a, um, a one and a half hour video. Um, and she was talking about how, you know, we ourselves as a culture defame and defile our own people just to what get a couple hundred likes i mean on a video who cares about that that's why i i i say to keep it small and keep it simple is the best way because you find the true genuine people there you don't find the little spammers or what Ray called the trollers, the trolls, yeah, and yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's internet police is what yeah. I call. Yeah, <laughs> big brother, big sister. You know, I'm yeah. not. That's why I want to make this a members only thing, to where we can get in and get deep and get real. So is it like a joint? Uh, like, uh, cause, cause I. I I think it's like a join something. Like yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to. So you would yeah. make you a, a YouTube channel, and then um, once you get this, once you get on there, and you subscribe to R Kelly Appeal, then I'll send you a link to get hooked up with a membership for where I'm getting ready to put my information out on Patreon, and only my Bye. members, only my members will be able to get the deep, deep you know conversations that we have like this I this bet. this would be a private patreon conversation right mm -hmm. yeah. so so let me know you know what i'm saying when you oh absolutely you that. yeah yeah because because like, i don't want you to like send it out and then i don't know I'm yes like, hold on where is it coming from what's like, going on <laughs> so where's she at you know before you do it now <laughs> Oh, you know it, you know it, you know it. You you are one of the um like I said, the day the day oneers of our Kelly Appeal TV. I mean, I remember you from way back when you made me feel comfortable doing videos when I was, you know, messing up the mic system, not knowing how to do lives. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I remember, I'm like, yo, just keep your cool, man. Dude, it's gonna be all right. Well, I thank you so much for this conversation. Um, I will be yeah. uploading it tonight, and it will be premiered at 6 p.m. Uh, tomorrow oh, night. So do, I, so do I see if it's coming in? So at 6, 6 p.m., you'll be able to hear it live, um, and you won't be able to correspond with the um, chat because we won't have yeah. the chat on as live, but you will uh -huh. be able to... Um, I'll follow that up with another video from the live. What's that? What you mean by that? I'll, follow I'll I'll follow up. So the next time we see each other, you'll 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 get the basic um what R. Kelly Appeal TV felt about this um conversation. So So basically you so so basically you you'll do a live like you did yesterday uh, today, uh, yeah. Yesterday. But today. Yeah. I'll do the live regularly and then I'll post um I'll screenshot all of the um the live chat conversations and then I'll read them off on the live tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. that'll, that'll work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, not tomorrow, but the next time we meet because um, they have to record them first before I can read them. So it is pretty cool. You know what I mean? So, You'll so, be able so to hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so let me ask you this right quick. So when you read them, is that when I can respond to it? Once we're on the live, you will be able to type in and respond from that chat. Yeah, you'll be able to do that. So yeah, it'll keep you in the know. It'll be a little bit laggy. It'll be a day later, <laughs> but <laughs> it'll give you something to think about on how you gonna respond to it. But I know they're my um, R. Kelly Appeal TV subscribers. The subscribers will definitely be thanking you for this video. Um, we thank you now. Um, we thank you for taking your time to explain what your feelings are about the sentencing and about the whole, you know, area of R. Kelly. You just didn't go all the way back to the first time you heard R. Kelly's music. How old were you again? <laughs> oh, I was 
Oh, yeah, I was one. One year. Oh, you were probably the youngest R. Kelly listener that ever probably heard his music. You probably know? Probably because, because during that time, you know, we had other people out. You know, we had Friday Night out. We had Joe out. We had, uh, we almost had Charlie Wilson that did that until 2005. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you're a connoisseur of music, and you are probably, I think I do have an 18-year-old in Australia that listens to our podcast here at R. Kelly Appeal TV. So you are part of the young listening group that I want to keep empowering to keep staying focused and to keep, you know, having hope and never give up. And always, always, always. Um, find a law. I don't care what law it is. And it may be boring to read. It may be mundane, but just find a state law that reflects something that you are related to. So say for instance, if you're related to, okay, say if a person is a bus driver, they need to know the rules of the road continually, not just because you had your driver's license ever since you were 16, but right, right. if you're 35, I'm sure that there's new laws out there that, that's in the books that you that the bus driver don't know. So right. whatever. And, and, mm-hmm. and too, I know one of the rules is, you know, if let's say if you have people on the bus that's got like uh, two kids and they have to Right, right. And when we learn to do that, I think the whole energy or synergy of the planet is going to excel. It's going to excel. It's going to grow and we'll become more of a family again, you know, a unity in the community. So I thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing to this channel. And yeah, Tim, yeah. I want to appreciate you. Uh, I want to appreciate you uh, everything that you do. Thank uh, you. I, I love Kat, you know, you know, all that, you know, even outside of the, the you know, even outside of that, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, like, all right. You have a resiliency of making people to keep that question. All right. Thank you. And that's that's what it's about, helping people, because we all help each other. Like what you share today will help someone who's listening and it's helping me and I'm helping you and they're helping you. That's why it's so important that we do get their feedback. And that's why I want to keep that chat open. I really, really do, because it would be so boring not to look over and see that no one's saying nothing in the box and it's just gonna be yeah. just because one person want to spam all day but i guess that's part of our growth you know that means we growing you know i think r kelly said if they ain't hating on you you're doing something wrong <laughs> you're doing something right dude. yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. i thank you so yeah. much all righty I- so everyone, please give Tim a shout out in the chat when you um, or a comment when you um, see this video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. And we will definitely have him on. And whenever you see him in the chat, Tim is one of our regulars. Um, don't be shy. Just say hi. All right. And <laughs> <laughs> we can fly in July. <laughs> Just say hi. <laughs> All right. Peace, love, and light. And as always, keep it 100, and we'll see you next time. Peace.